Hi there, Jeffrey Rose from Experimental Homesteader, Exotic Gardening, and Sherry at Richardson.com. Uh, <coughs> well, uh, I'm still feeling a little under the weather. Um, it's been a while now. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I went, I felt bad, left work early, wound up going to the emergency room because uh, I couldn't get in to see the family doctor. And uh, they really didn't do any testing on me. Um, they looked at my throat, said it was red, uh, put me on an antibiotic, but it didn't actually tell me that they were basically treating me for uh, strep throat. Because um, I was thinking that that might have been what I, what I had was strep. Um, but they didn't, you know, they didn't tell me anything. They didn't swab. They didn't do any blood work. Uh, it was just, okay, here's, here's the antibiotic. Um, took the antibiotic. Took 10 days, you know, did the full course. And very next day, I was right back where I was, I had started, you know, sinus infection type of thing, you know, sinuses draining down the back of my throat, uh, sore throat, you know, and so I came over and, and talked to the receptionist at the doctor's office, and their biggest concern right now is they don't want to put me on another antibiotic because of the chance of um, C. diff. Basically, the, the antibiotic, you know, too many courses of antibiotic kills the good bacteria in the stomach, which causes a, uh, basically, a bacterial infection uh, in the digestive system and can be a very bad thing, um, can actually uh, lead to, you know, death um, in the extreme. Um, so, but we went ahead today, and because I still was not feeling good, um, and I've been trying to treat it, you know, using some Benadryl and some Tylenol and cough drops, and uh, so we talked about it, and she's, the doctor decided to uh, have me take some Sudafed, and uh, start me on some Allegra uh, in place of the Zyrtec that I've been taking and uh, make sure that I start doing the, the Flonase again because I had stopped the Flonase for a little while because I didn't think it was going to be very effective with the uh, nasal congestion that I have. Um, <laughs> I didn't think it would <coughs> actually <coughs> actually squirt up into my nose properly so yeah, but she said to, to go ahead and use it it'll help to clear things up or it should so I will start using it again and, uh, but uh, <laughs> uh, I've been miserable for days now and uh, it just doesn't seem to want to go away but hopefully this will all clear up. Um, you know, and the, with with the hours at work being shorter recently, because today was a a little bit short of a day too. We didn't have as much <sighs> as much work to do, so most everybody was out in about six hours. Um, I was out in about seven, um, and I was, I was one of the, the last people to leave, uh, today, so, you know, a couple people might have managed to get eight today, but most of us, no, so, we'll see what happens with that, I don't know, it may just go back to normal, on Monday, um, and it may be, you know, we're just
just in a, a downward trend for a little while. And, uh, we just won't get the hours that we've been getting. Um, I'd like to get back to where we were actually doing a little overtime. Mm. You know, nine to ten hours a day isn't terrible. Um, gets a little bit extra money. So, anyways, I think that's going to do it for today. Uh, so, uh, please subscribe. Uh, give us a thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below. And we'll see you again tomorrow. Have a great evening.